topic of this tutorial is going to be termites, it's going to be UHCT and it's going to be NeoFetch. It's all about this nice logo we have when we see NeoFetch that things go wrong in BSPWM and I'll show you. In the meantime we're looking at the end result of our theming exercise of previous tutorial. I've looked for a nice wallpaper and I've changed here some uh, icons and that's it. So everything is now orange-like. So the idea came to me, hey Eric, why don't you put here a logo that's all orange? And I said, oh, that's a nice tutorial. But because we can't do that. We can and we can't. We'll see. So the thing is, this BSPWM, that's the system we are in, can it or not, can it uh, show us this logo in our terminal. We need to go to our .config and there is this NeoFetch in here. And this NeoFetch normally what it does, sorry, what it does normally is get us an image. And we can tell NeoFetch to get an image. So NeoFetch source and you go to the home of Eric into the .config in your fetch get me anything get me an image let's take the new mix one because i know it's orange and then we get this okay then maybe there is something wrong with the config that's the next thing probably you'll, you'll think and indeed we have we do provide you with two configurations if you want the one with the ascii code you're right, this is ASCII code, you don't need to do anything. If you want the one with a logo, then it's the other one you need to activate. So you have to switch. So right mouse click, if you want to open that with Atom, would be nice. Like so. Let's make this a little bit like so. I've told him to be a shell script here. Shell. Told him you're a shell, shell script. And then it knows and it gives us some nice coloring. All right. So we have a config and a config logo. The config and a config logo, there is a difference between them. We should actually, again, give you the benefits of Melt. Explain that this is a powerful tool. So we go to NeoFetch. I am missing it. NeoFetch. This is the config, that's the one we're using, and the other one is a config logo. If we compare it, we see the difference. So left is ASCII, right is logo. This says ASCII, this says it's gonna be an image. This says here's the ASCII code, this says here's the image. And the rest is all hashtagged out, so that's not, it's not important. We could just do this, and that's fine. And ASCII distro arco, it's activated, but it's not. And here we say which colors to use, seven and eight. And here we say just follow the colors for the distro, since it's an image. And that's the difference. The difference is in these two lines. Telling, I want ASCII, I want the picture. Here's the ASCII, and here's the picture. Okay, done. You can save that, that's no problem. Done. So, if we want to have an image, we would do this. This applies, by the way, not to BSP M alone, it's for everybody because this NeoFetch is installed on any desktop environment. So, the thing I say here, config, this is actually ASCII. And this one is for a logo, so I'm gonna delete the logo and say, okay, now this is this should be the name, otherwise NeoFetch will never kick in. So, okay, Ctrl Alt T, there you have it again. But maybe you don't see it, I do already. Uh, let's do it again, Ctrl Alt T. Maybe it doesn't show, but here is a border around it. I did not ask to put a border inside a PNG. 
And a PNG has the qualities of having a beautiful logo and a transparent thing around it. So it, it's like a glass you look through. And what happens? There is no glass. There is something. There is something brownish, dark orange around this theme, around this, this logo. And that was bugging us. That was a problem for us. I said, hey, what's happening? And we were looking for hours and hours. Three people engaged to find a solution. And then we said, maybe it's the it's termites. Uh, it's, 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 this is, if here you see we have URXVT. But actually we started with termites. That was the first thing we did. We said termites and ask for a NeoFetch. And we saw nothing. That's even worse. There is no image. There is nothing. Whatever we type, we can say this is uh, here you see that we're actually working in termite. Even if we type NeoFetch, etc., etc., nothing happens. So that was our issue. And that's why that we said, okay, termite is a no-go inside BSPWM. Let's go for URXVT. And then we had the other issue. In URXVT, everything is fine uh, if you don't use transparency. So let me show you that as well. Should we say, should we say transparency is out? Then you go to X resources. Actually, you still have a copy. So I can show you like this. Compare. If we say these two lines are out, so back to the original one, files are identical. These two lines define that it's transparent or not. And I've put here a little line because otherwise I always forget this is the code not to reboot. So control C and then I can quit this thing. Did I save? First save and then stop melt. Go in a terminal, control shift V. The code I forgot is not in there. X, R, D, B something. Yep, that's it. And then X resources. It's loaded. Right. And then let's open it again. And then you have the logo. But hmm, it's not really looking very nice. It's, it's actually a bit strange, a bit ghost-like. Termite, no can do. So we have this, this thing. There is no board around it, but it's not nice either. So this is what you can do. You can, of course, try to ask for another one, which will work, but which will be still looking very strange. I'm actually surprised that this is now transparent. So I'm gonna log out and log back in, wondering if the X resources is actually loaded up properly. Okay. That's better, right? So this is okay in URXVT, that's okay. And in Termite, it's not okay. So, yeah, probably should have merged X resources earlier on. Anyway, the thing is, URXVT, the logo works. Termite, it doesn't work. And we don't know how to fix it otherwise than, than going to dig really deep into some kind of code inside Termite itself. It's not that simple as to fix something in Termite in BSPWM. So we'll wait for the developer to fix that. But the thing is that it works. If we forget about Termite, then we can indeed have something like this. And say, oh, nice. And then we can make a little screenshot and say, this is our pimping, everything is orange, and there you go. So that's the reason why we went from Termite to URXVT when working with our logo and NeoFetch, we had to do something. And um, in the meantime, we developed our ASCII code and that's there already now in the other distro, Arco Linux. So, okay, 
enjoyed the system, enjoy pimping it, and um, I'll hear you on the net. Cheers.